Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I'm pretty much back with another video. And I'm so excited because today I start my vegan journey. Now, so, um, if you guys don't know, I've done veganism before and it's done my body really, really good. If you check my Instagram, I was skinny as hell and I looked great. Um, now I'm, I'm thick and I still look great, but I just really wanted to get my health in order because I gained weight like when I was really depressed, which was like a few months back. I was extremely like overeating and even like now I'm not, you know, how I used to be, but I see that I have gotten accustomed to the overeating thing. So I still kind of like overeat. So now I ordered this meal service. Um, last time when I was doing veganism, I ordered a meal service from Vistro. And um, uh, my experience with them, with them was pretty good because I lost the weight that I wanted to. Now um, I am doing a meal service from um, Mama Says, which is a plant-based whole food meal service for vegans and it's like soul food so a lot of people think that big misconceptions about vegans is that we don't eat good food or we pretty much don't um we don't we we basically eat like plants like leaves and stuff but really the diet is just plant-based meaning we replace you know all your favorite things with other things and it's still equally good if not better so i'm going to show you the package um pretty much i got it today i'm excited to start i already ate breakfast so i'm going to be doing lunch and dinner today but it's pretty much pre-packaged meals um and it's for seven days a week three times a day i was in my locker like my mail room and i saw that somebody had ordered from hello fresh so in my building a lot of people like you know do the whole meal service thing because a lot of times People don't have time to cook and you know if you're like a new cook like myself and you're trying to go vegan i'm trying to get results now so i felt like ordering would be the best thing i could do for a limited amount of time so i'm going to show you all the food and i hope and i'm going to open it with you guys so I'm, i hope that like you know i like it but the food on the internet look good so i'm going to see what's up and what it's, what it's about pretty much so here is our girl. It's from Mama Says, and I'm gonna open this up and see like what this okay, is. Guys. So basically, this is what the package comes in. They, they usually, okay, the el the ice is melted already. So yeah. So take out all the ice, and then uh, uh, the ice is meant to keep it cold. So um, so here are the meals. Okay, so Mama says gardener's pie. It basically they give you meals three for three times a day, seven days a week. So this is gardener's pie. Um, so we're gonna take that out. So these cookies or whatever, you know, pretty much we're not gonna be eating them anymore. Um, this is Mama's burger. So mind you, on the label it tells you. The veggie sausage. Okay, you got a power. We have um, lazy lasagna. Um, also, we have the power energy smoothie. Um, this is quinoa stack. Remove from bag, heat in pan, or in stove top for three minutes or microwave and a bowl for two minutes. Okay, so this is quinoa stack. So pretty much they provide you with like good servings. Okay, I get it, okay. Moroccan stew. So basically you don't eat this all at once. This is like, you know, you have to proportion it and basically you're gonna be using this for, um, you're gonna be using this for basically the week. And then you have Mama's Chili. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll put this over here. Mama's Chili. And then we have a perfect yogi snack. Um, so this is like, what, a yogurt? Yeah, this is like breakfast, like a perfect yogi snack. 
Okay, so this is pretty much what I got for the week. All right, so let's put this box down and let's go over it again. So we got Moroccan stew. It is, it tells you like the calories, 180. Um, you know, it gives you enjoy with a dolly, a dollop of mama's mac and salt cheese sauce to soften the bite mix with no salt peanut butter for a thick creamy or stew um yeah so again it gives you instructions on like um it gives you the instruct uh, the ingredients and um so basically all i have to do is heat eat and enjoy so they give you basically these serving sizes they give you more than one serving. So lazy lasagna, we got lasagna for the week. We got um, the Power Energy Smoothie. We got the Quinoa Stack. Chai Chai Yoga. This is a snack. You can mix this, I can mix this with yogurt. So I'm gonna buy yogurt and mix this. Um, Mama says veggie sausage. So if I wanna make it tells you instructions and everything. Use scissors to cut and remove, over wrap, heat in oven, uncovered for five minutes. Use scissors to cut and remove, over wrap, heat in oven, uncovered for five minutes at 350 until hot or microwave for two to three minutes. Yeah, you can eat it like either alone or you eat it, um, with a burger or whatever. I mean, with a, um, with buns. Then mama's burger. So it's no GMO, it's gluten-free, no oils, dairy-free, and um, ready-made meals arrive fresh, never frozen and always cooked. So it's basically not frozen. I, I see my calories. So pretty much when I'm eating and when I'm putting my meals together or whatever, like I get to, um, you know, see what my caloric count intake for the day is. Um, what is, all, okay, so ready-made meals are right fresh. Keep refrigerated until ready to serve. Yeah. Then we have the gardener's pie. So yeah, so this is basically the food for the week. These are my foods for the week and so next week um, I'm going to be getting my second week's food and then the next week and then the next week and then and then the next week so today so um, this afternoon I'm gonna like eat when I get hungry I'm gonna start eating and I'm gonna put my meals together and you know we're gonna do it like we're gonna I'm pretty much vegan guys and this weight loss journey is like you know very important also I don't look like I'm 200 pounds but I am. So let me show you guys. So we're gonna do this weight loss journey together. Okay, so I'm at zero now. I'm 201 pounds and six ounces. I have never in my life been that weight. I don't look like it, but I'm 5'6", and my, my, body, my body frame, <clears throat> my body frame is basically um I can carry that why well, I, I should not be carrying this this kind of weight so I'm gonna that's why I'm going vegan and I can't wait to try this food I really am excited and um you know yay and so I see you I'll see you guys for lunch and I will put my meal together and I'll heat it up and eat it so yeah first day vegan again okay guys so um I just woke up from like my power nap um i think i'm gonna go to whole foods because i need to buy some groceries i need to buy like some buns from my veggie burgers my veggie sausage um yogurt i want some non-dairy yogurt almond milk uh, i need some healthier juice because that minute made stuff like it may be like my favorite little juice like fruit punch but we all know that like fruit punches have a lot of sugar in it which means weight so for me i definitely I think I'm gonna wait until 
I think right now it's okay to go to Whole Foods because I was waiting for the sun to go down, like, you know, so I wouldn't have to go out in the sun and stuff like that. But um, I might take you out of Whole Foods. But, yeah, um, I'm hungry. So I'll basically go fix my first meal. I think I'm going to have some lasagna, probably. Like, I'm really excited to, like, you know, start my vegan journey again. Veganism is really great. And I'm really to I'm really happy to lose weight because being like um at the two hundred, which I've never been in my whole life, um, it really makes me uncomfortable, like physically. You know, it caused me to have like stomach problems for an extended period of time. I had to go buy like omeprazole to calm my stomach down because I have like GERD, which is like reflux disease, and then I have gastritis. So the more weight that I put on is the more that condition is you know, exacerbated. And the more, the more poor my diet is, the worse that condition is. So, um, I'm pretty much going to just make a list of groceries that I need and want so I can be in and out. And, um, but before then I'm going to make like my meal. I'm going to like eat my first vegan meal. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, these are basically the instructions. Um, Power smoothie. Okay, so this is basically instructions on how to make the smoothie. You need one banana, one cup orange juice or your favorite liquid, one fourth to one half cup of Mama Says Power Smoothie Blend. Blend for 10 to 15 minutes. You are all set. Drink and go rock your day. Benefits anti inflammatory, immunity boost, increased stamina, glowing skin, energy boost. That glowing skin is like everything. Energy boost, increase your stamina. Immunity boost, anti-inflammatory, so one banana. One cup orange juice or your favorite liquid. One fourth to one half cup of Mama Says Power Smoothie Blend. Yeah, I'm gonna get like milk. And probably you can mix it with juice. Usually with a smoothie, I would do milk. Blend for 10 to 15 seconds, not minutes. Then you all set. Okay, so um, this is like a little brochure that they sent me of everything that I have pretty much on in the refrigerator right now. Welcome to Mama's Dead Coffee. Excuse my dirty dish, I have to clean that. So pretty much this is day, you know, this is their day one. Like, they give you suggestions of what you should be, like, um, getting for groceries as far as, and also, like, your meals. Um, like, helping you to plan what meals to, you know, eat each day. They'll tell you each day, like, day three, day four, um, day five, day six, day seven. Yeah, see, yeah, that milk, I would do it with milk. Um, and they give you a grocery shopping list, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing today in Whole Foods. I was making my own list, but I got, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a grocery list. I'm sorry, buying. So one red onion, two, one potato, two tomatoes, a large container of raw spinach, six ser servings of salad, ingredients including greens and toppings seven servings of veggies of your choice to steam one bell pepper lots of your favorite veggies to bake and steam one cup of brown rice dry condiments one small container of unsweetened non-dairy milk veggie broth low sodium nutritional yeast all natural peanut or almond butter garlic powder, black pepper, coffee, or tea. So it basically, um, it's suggestions pretty much of what you should be eating, what you can eat as far as your meal planning. It's like a meal plan for seven days and you're gonna get this like every week. So pretty good, so I'm excited. So yeah guys, so basically this is like whole, whole um, all her foods, the mama says are whole, whole wheat or whole grain, like whole foods basically and um, she also basically, of course, gave me the instruction list. I'm going to go get the groceries 
today, tonight. But for the in the meantime, since I'm hungry, I hooked up, I cooked up the, um, I heated up the lasagna that was already made. And I'm gonna put some um, black pepper on it. And um, I'm gonna be eating this for like, um, yeah. let's see how this tastes. I don't wanna put too much. Yeah. All right, so I put some um, bread in there too. So basically at 60 calories each slice of bread, this is 265 grams. I'm, raised, I'm pretty much kind of my caloric intake. I, I ate 240 grams this morning. My juice, half a cup is um, 90, a cup is 90 calories. And um, what else? What else did I eat today? Oh, and I ate cookies too, child. But yeah, I'm gonna add them up and tell you at the end what was my caloric intake for today. But I officially really start tomorrow. But um, I'm starting, you know, semi today. Hi guys. <clears throat> so I've decided to go to the grocery store tomorrow because I'm simply tired. Like I'm tired. I took a nap, woke up, ate, and I got my original lip color like back going on because I had on like pink lipstick on today, but yeah guys i'm like tired so i'll go to the grocery store i'll go to whole foods um tomorrow and um my caloric intake pretty much today because I'm, I'm stop i'm stopping i'm not gonna eat anymore basically my caloric intake for today is um 1207 i counted it up i counted everything up and pretty much if I stay like at 1207, I'll lose, if I stay, my goal is to stay under 1200, to stay at no more than 1200. So if I basically am on a 1200 caloric diet daily, I definitely will be seeing results. So, you know, for me, no more fried chicken, no more. Um, and if it is fried chicken, it's gonna be vegan ingredients. And honestly, guys, you don't have to be strictly vegan. Like, if you're doing it for the purpose of losing weight, like, you can mix, you know, like, I have vegan meals or whatever, but I use, like, regular bread. You know, some people will use, I'm going to buy wheat bread, too, but you can use, like, regular bread. Uh, as long as you count your caloric intake, as long as you count your caloric intake, um, as long as you pretty much stay in the 1200 or what your goal is you know it doesn't matter like pretty much what you necessarily um eat you'll lose the weight now with veganism if for example you cut off all animal products period um you pretty much will be very slim in appearance um if you kind of like mix veganism and then you do like um for example, you do like vegan whole foods, but you also use like regular bread that has like animal products in it. Um, you will probably be slim thick. <laughs> You'll be probably slim thick because the milk and all of that stuff is like fattening. So you'll pretty much be like slim thick pretty much which is fine for me because that's what I like to be but at the same time it's like as long as I lose the weight if I lose the weight and if I like for example how I look by mixing then I'll continue to like mix but if I for example feel like you know I want to be strictly vegan because I like my results when I'm strictly vegan like I like the slim appearance that I have when I'm strictly vegan then I'll do that as well but really honestly my goal is to be healthy I'm not really worried about an appearance like oh skinny is life or I'm not worried about that I really just care about my caloric intake and I care about being healthy and losing about like 40 pounds pretty much in like probably two to three months time span that's the goal so you know i'm even like keeping track of like my juice like i'm drinking like a cup of juice i'm not overdoing it because each cup is 90 calories so that's how you should be doing a caloric intake like each cup 90 calories i got my one cup and you know when you do it like that you control your portions and you're, you'll just drop and drop and you know that's my goal you know what i'm saying Yay. so everything's pretty much really good and i can't wait to like look on the scale maybe in a week i'm gonna look on the scale in a week 
because how I'm eating is drastically different now from how I was eating before with the fried chicken, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, spaghetti, with all the sauce and stuff like that, with that Parmesan cheese just loaded in there. Like, you know, I'm gonna see. And that by the end of the every week, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get on the scale. So my weight is like 201 now. So by the end of this week, by how I'm doing my caloric intake and how I choose to eat, which is mixing like veganism and a little bit of like, you know, um, like stuff, like little stuff like that are, you know, not vegan, like maybe white bread. Cause I, I pretty much prefer white bread, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to buy, um, I'm going to buy some wheat bread or whatever and see how I like it because I got a whole bunch of white bread so it's like I don't want to go have that go to waste if I don't eat the white bread and just go straight like you know wheat bread where there's no dairy products at all or anything like that you know bread no no not containing you know um animal milk I pretty much would have to go to the homeless and give them the bread I would have to go and I don't have a problem with that but I want to see what it's like to mix and match instead of being strictly vegan because i'm not doing it for the purpose of other people don't what they're what they do veganism for i'm doing it strictly for weight and health purposes so whatever if mixing works and i can still find it pleasurable my eating experience is good then i'll do it so in a week i'll check on the scale and see how i do i expect to drop like in a week i expect to drop at least two to three pounds at least knowing my body if i'm eating like strictly vegan i'll drop five pounds in the first week if for example i go to the grocery store and desire and decide to be strict or whatever i'll be like five pounds let like you know yeah less and i'll probably want to do the strict veganism because i'm losing fat weight quicker if i mix i'll probably drop like two to three pounds yeah so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it does. But all right, guys, I'm going to drink. And also after you eat, guys, you have to remember you have to sit up for at least two hours so your food won't like reflux or your stomach acid won't reflux. That's how I develop GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. It happens when you pretty much lay down your spinster in your stomach, like at the base of your your stomach, like it's it's called the spinster the spinster when you lay down all the time and you know food travel it, your spinster can get loose and then the food is easily able to travel like um inside like your stuff like it, 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 it can travel upward and cause reflux which means all stomach contents they go upward which is why you experience the heartburn and etc so your spinster pretty much it's in there and um it's if it gets loose it'll pretty much ha it'll be easy for stomach contents to flow up and now you're with GERD okay it's very controllable but you have to sit up for at least two hours so which that's what I'm doing I'm propped up on like a pillow look at my belly propped up and I'm pretty much like staying up for two hours and then you can lay down after like you don't feel that full sensation after your food is digested it takes a long time to digest but bulk of the food first couple of hours you want to sit up so all right health, health tip i just gave you guys and um rain, remainder of my evening i'm going to study my watchtower because i'm going to meeting tomorrow y'all know i'm a jehovah's witness well i'm disassociated but i'm trying to get reinstated you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm going to be studying and then i'm going to go to bed and I will catch you guys tomorrow so we can grocery shop together <laughs>